हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सौरव सर्स क्लासेस द क्वेश्चन इज लेट वाई बी ए बाइनोम सेवेंटी टू कॉमा वन बाई थ्री रैंडम वेरिएबल दैट इज वाई फॉलोज अ बाइनोम डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वेर एन इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी टू एंड पी इज इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री यूजिंग नॉर्मल अप्रॉक्सीमेशन टू बाइनोम डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड अप्रॉक्सीमेट वैल्यू ऑफ पी y greater than is equal to twenty two, but less than equal to twenty eight is. So first, let us find out mu, that is mean expectation x, is equal to n p, is equal to seventy two into one by three, which is equal to twenty four. Similarly, sigma squared, that is variance of x, is equal to n p q, is seventy two into one by three. Into one minus one by three, so that is seventy two into one by three into two by three, which is equal to sixteen. Now probability twenty two less than equal to y less than twenty eight. Written as probability twenty two minus twenty four by four. Less than y minus mu by sigma by twenty eight minus twenty four by four. Now, if you are wondering where from where this four came from, it is it is actually equal to sigma. Now, since sigma squared was sixteen, so sigma is equal to four. Now, this can be written as probability minus half. Less than z, less than equal to one. Which becomes probability z less than equal to one minus probability z less than equal to minus half. So this is five one minus one minus five. Zero point five, where phi is the CDF of a standard normal distribution, which is following normal zero comma one. Since it is standard normal, it would obviously follow normal zero comma one, and phi of minus x is equal to one minus phi x, since the normal distribution is symmetric. So this comes out to be phi one min plus phi zero point five minus one. Now using the standard normal tables, you get cap phi one to be equal to zero point eight four one three. And phi zero point five to be zero point six nine one five minus one, which is zero point five three two eight. So the answer is zero point five three two eight. The next question is: Let x be a binomial two comma p variable, and y be a binomial four comma p random variable, where p lies between zero and one. If probability x greater than is equal to one is equal to five by nine, then probability y greater than is equal to one is. So we have been given that x follows binomial two comma p, and y follows binomial four comma p. Now probability x greater than is equal to one is one minus probability. X is equal to zero, so this is one minus two c zero p to the power zero into one minus p squared, which is one minus one minus p squared. Now, we have been given that five by nine is equal to one minus. One minus p squared, so one minus p squared comes out to be one minus five by nine, 
that is equal to 4 by 9. Therefore, 1 minus p is equal to root over 4 by 9, which is 2 by 3. So we get p to be equal to 1 by 3. Now, probability y greater than is equal to 1 is equal to 1 minus probability y is equal to 0 which is 1 minus 4c0 p to the power 0 1 minus p to the power 4 which is 1 minus 1 minus p to the power 4 so this is actually 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power 4 or 1 minus 2 by 3 to the power 4 so this is 1 minus 16 by 81 that is 65 by 81 which is 0 0.8 so probability y greater than is equal to 1 is 0 